Today, modern warfare is waged in the electromagnetic spectrum. Every air, maritime, and ground platforms have radars and communications with RF signatures. And if these signatures can be correctly identified or manipulated to our advantage, we can dominate the electromagnetic spectrum fight. To maintain the U.S.'s all-domain advantage, the Department of Defense is changing its approach to a more unified treatment for electromagnetic spectrum operations, or EMSO. In this arena, the United States is constantly being challenged by both peers and near-peer adversaries in the electromagnetic spectrum. These challenges have exposed the cross-cutting reliance of U.S. forces on the electromagnetic spectrum and are driving changes in how the Department of Defense approaches these activities to maintain its combat advantages. The U.S. and its adversaries are increasingly leveraging deep neural networks, or DNNs, for radio frequency communications because of their improved accuracy over traditional approaches. However, they are vulnerable to adversarial attacks that use highly optimized noise masks to deceive our classifiers. These attacks are imperceptible to humans and RF decoders. The Radio Frequency Ensemble Classifier, or RADEC, provides trustworthy AI that is resilient to these attacks. RADEC's hardened ensemble classifier is trained to see through and detect adversarial perturbations in the data and correctly recover the true class, thus avoiding deception. Here are two demonstrations of RADEC's offensive capabilities. In our first scenario, an enemy surface reactive jammer is set to initiate jamming when its DNN classifier detects a specific protocol or mod scheme, such as the one used by an unmanned aerial system or UAS. For this demonstration, we show two software-defined radios, or SDRs, transmitting RF signals over the air and running RADEX software components for RF signal generation and processing. Here, we have a list of 24 different modulation schemes, which the X300 SDR transmits and the N210 SDR receives. On the bottom row, the transmitted and received signals and the time domain appear on the left. The frequency domain via the waterfall plot appears in the center, and the complex plane appears on the right. In the middle row, we see the classification results of the naive, unhardened DNN classifier. The modulation scheme class number is listed to its right in the drop-down menu. As we can see, the class number for FM modulation is 3, and the classifier consistently outputs 3. If we switch to 16 QAM, whose class number is 23, the classifier will output 23. We will now add Gaussian noise to the transmitted signal. We see that the classifier is not affected by the noise. We will now turn on adversarial perturbations, which are transmitted along with the signal by the X300. The naive, unhardened DNN classifier no longer outputs the correct class of 3. It has been deceived by the adversarial perturbations. These adversarial perturbations are the same magnitude as the Gaussian noise transmitted before, showing that the adversarial perturbations are smart and not simply random noise. RADEC is also capable of smart jamming, whereby the enemy perturbation is transmitted by a third independent device over the air to fool all RF classifiers in the vicinity. Here, the X300 SDR is successfully classifying its own transmitted FM signal and can be seen by the classifier output of 3. Now, we will transmit adversarial perturbations from another device, the N210 SDR, which is located near the X300. As we can see, the naive classifier is fooled by the adversarial attack. Thus, RADEC has managed to deceive or smart jam the classifier with optimized over-the-air perturbations of much lower power than what would be needed with random noise. Now let's look at another example of RADEC's capabilities. In this scenario, UAS and ground sensors are surveying and collecting signals of interest to identify, locate, and track enemy targets. 
the enemy attempts to confuse our DNN classifiers using the same previously known adversarial signals. Once again, we are transmitting FM. Both the naive classifier, shown in blue, and the newly shown radec classifier, shown in red, output 3, which is the correct class. Now we turn on the adversarial perturbations. As before, the naive classifier changes class, while the radec hardened classifier remains correct at 3. Here, radec detects enemy perturbations and hardens our classifier against such attacks. To learn more about RADEC and its capabilities, please contact one of our representatives through our website, www.intellisenseing.com.